Well, imagine having to pay someone to open your mother or father's mail, even though they live just down the street. Yeah, that's just one of the many horror stories state lawmakers heard from Floridians whose parents have been placed in a guardianship. But as Mike Vazalinda tells us, a new law looks to remedy that problem. Doug Franks has to pay an hourly rate to visit his mother, Ernestine. He's part of a growing national movement seeking changes in guardianships. We simply, the families are isolated so they don't know what's going on. Then the wards, the people that have suffered a civil death that have no rights, are then taken advantage of financially. The Franks family nightmare is being played out in thousands of families across Florida. They charge to open a letter, $80. Legislation taking effect July 1st hopes to put the brakes on questionable guardians. If a, a guardian um, exploits their ward, there will be criminal penalties. They can go to jail. The new law also puts restrictions on judges appointing guardians. Franks has tried to get the courts to reopen his mother's case without luck. In, in Mr. Frank's case, uh, we, are, we are hopeful that he can go to the court and say, I object to what's going on here, and, and that the courts, based upon the new statute, will, will hear him out. Even supporters say the legislation signed by the governor only solves half the problem. State Senator Nancy Dietert had legislation that would have licensed public public for profit guardians it came close but didn't pass and nobody's regulating what they do and they can take your mail take your money be in charge of your health care cut you off from your relatives and there's nobody that can say they can't do it but for the next year public for profit guardians will remain unregulated Nancy Dieter's advice families beware Mike Vasilinda WCTV eyewitness news Tallahassee the number of public for-profit guardians has grown from 23 to more than 450 in the last five years.